Hey, what's everybody? Twitch from Street here, Hampton, New York. Today we're going to review these the Jordan Jubilees. They're a nice box. Uh, I guess they, last year they, they put it in a regular box, which I never, didn't really care for. Now they, they put it into a nice box, which I think the Jordan 11 deserves. Um, and I think on the paper here, it's got, to come close to the camera, it's very light, but it says uh, 19, um, I can't, I can't even put it up there. It says 1995 2020, which is the 25th anniversary. Um, that's where the Jubilee comes from. Um, Jubilee is a celebration, and this is the 25th um, year celebration. That's, that goes with the color for silver. That's why silver is on the shoe. Um, but they got beautiful paper in here. All right, that's right again. And a nice uh, nice box system, which makes this shoe a little bit more special, which I like. If I can even figure get it back in. Oh, that's right. Like this, like this, like this. Okay, Air Jordan 11. It says black, multicolor, multicolor, which is a very unusual way of just describing that black and silver and white shoe. Um, 220 box, and that's your box. Okay, we'll use uh, this one for the review. The shoe comes out in 1995. It's a Tinker Hatfield shoe. Um, there's a couple different, you know, um, ways that the shoe came out. Oh, there's a lawnmower theory, and there's also for the car. Um, I think the original take was because of the car, and that's where this patent leather comes from. It's the metal of the car. The Kudur upper is from the, the rag top, the drop top of the car. Um, so that's where a little bit of the theme came from from the shoe. Um, i tell you what, these shoes are really, really nice. This is also has the original um, high patent leather. Um, they had started this now. It's been a couple of years. They at least brought that patent leather back up to a higher level, which when they put it lower, I didn't like that look of it. I like this higher patent leather um, feel and look to it. But, um, yeah, so you got this got a nice metal jump man up here. I didn't really like the idea of putting Jordan on those eyelets right there. The only reason it, I think it passes is because it's done very, very subtly. It, you have to really look to see it, which almost is, it just kind of looks like a, really a design of, of a metal. But if you look closely, it does say Jordan. I think that's, that's why it works. Otherwise, I wouldn't have liked it. I know Reebok did it on their shoes, and I thought it was tacky as hell. Um, yeah, so that's the, I, I didn't, I didn't. I don't really like it when they put that Reebok or well, you know, name running down the side like that. But this is done classy. I, I like this. Uh, it just works. Um, but as far as like I said, as far as the finish of the shoe, I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, all this nice, beautiful soft leather back here. Yeah, you know, like this is like a nice metal feel for the Jumpman. You got the 23 there. You also have inside. Let me see here. It's got the 25th anniversary right there. The shoe came out in 1995, so it's been 25 years. It's actually 95, 96, but. They're using it for the 25th anniversary. Um, and I'm looking at, oh, they also, too, here they got the Jumpman Jordan here and that Greek style riding, but it's nice because they made it out of leather here, which I think that gave it a nice little touch. Something special for this 25th um, anniversary. Yeah, like I said, it's got the silver Jumpman. Well, we showed that inside already, but that's the silver Jumpman. And I like the milky white bottom. I think that sets off the shoe pretty nice. Um, this, is, this, is the, this is the tuxedo shoe, and this. This colorway, how this is setting, definitely looks like a, a nice tuxedo shoe you can wear with a suit with these shoes. So this is an icon iconic shoe for, for Jordan the 11s, and this is probably what started almost all this retro business um, after the shoe, the shoe came out, and people really started, the brand started to really be hitting. Um, it's a gorgeous shoe. Um, there was one hat here. Let's see, put it over here. Yeah, and I like to put a couple of hats with my shoes here. But this is the hat we kind of made for it. Um, it's got the, uh, you can see back here, it's got that little cream back here on the, on the um, that side patch there with the white and the black. So just to keep it, I mean, it's easy to shoot a match up. It's white and black and, and silver, but we just did a little more of a touch just to match that creamy bottom on the hat. It's a Yankee hat, um, heavy embroidery. It's a pretty cool hat. So, um, yeah. So this, now we also have, which we haven't been having, is clothing to match up with our shoes. This is Jordan 11 clothing. This is a beautiful jacket with zippers, 150 bucks. We have that. I think, yeah, it's just got that Jumpman Jordan back here on the back and the Greek style riding around down the tab. Uh, what else? We've got a nice hoodie here, 90 bucks. Symbol there with the Jordan and a t-shirt. This is probably $35, yeah. So a little Jordan clothing collection. Um, I like the show with the shoes. When they, they usually do come out with something, um, a little bit more clothing. And you, that's usually what we get. Uh, as far as the uh, clothing matching up with the shoe, but that's your Jordan 11. Um, this is the more of the hats, like I told you about. These are all special makeup hats that we do. Oh, let me get this other hat back to show that bottom. Okay, it's got the gray bottom. That was the one I had up there with the Jordans. Um, like I said, these are all custom to us. We design these, so it's, they're very unique just to our store. 
These are all new air hats, so um, take a look at these. The different teams here. Also the Yankees, the Sox. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, oh, we got one up here too. I don't know if you can let me mm -hmm. put this one back down so you can see it. That's a cool colorway. I like this hat. Different colorway there. Yeah, so I guess this is going to be the last shoe I'll review for um, 2020. It's going to be the Jordan 11 Jubilee. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get more Nike footwear coming in, so I'll be able to put more Nike footwear on the end of these reviews starting in January of 21. And uh, we'll get back on track and get rid of this COVID mess. And that's it. So take your last look here. Jordan 11 Jubilees. Three gear out.